For 23 years, filmmakers and film enthusiasts locally and internationally have made the trek to Gimli, Manitoba to engross themselves in movies, films, and documentaries for the Gimli International Film Festival. The festival included five days of programs, workshops, and featured over 90 films. For executive director Alan Wong, the anticipation of what the future could hold for the festival is more palpable than ever. Yeah, and you know, who knows, it might, might even grow in the future. You never know. There's lots of festivals that are like a week long, 10 days, two weeks long. So, who knows? Wong, who first took up the role of festival manager in 2021, has been working diligently, taking his passion for film and a dedicated team to create the Gimli International Film Festival as a premier event. Every good film has a good message. And so, uh, you know, that's kind of what it means to me is like messages and, um, and stories and that, that inspire, that motivate. And uh, the more you can kind of celebrate that, I think that it really actually pushes, pushes humanity forward, right? Because it um, brings people together, it sparks ideas, sparks the motivation for doing, doing good things and being better. So that's what it means to me. Diane Phillips and Jim Quayle have volunteered at the festival for nearly two decades. When they first moved to Gimli, they wanted to experience what the festival was all about and were so impressed, the two had to get involved. Because it's quality, quality of the films, quality of the, the filmmakers, it, they are absolutely incredible, creative, but it's also looking at the board and looking at the people you meet and the volunteers. And of course, um, Gimli is a real gem, and we're very proud to be part of the Gimli community. Quayle remarked that volunteering for these many years alongside someone he loves has been absolutely thrilling. Oh, we, we just feel that uh, being part of the Gimli Film Festival is so important, not, not only to us, but to the whole community. And uh, we feel that it's a, a very welcoming community, very warm community, and we, we look forward to trying to pro project that feeling to people who do come to Gimli. The Winnipeg Indigenous Filmmakers Collective Shorts Program at GIF is an opportunity for diverse voices to reach new audiences. Charlene Moore, director of the short NEPI, has been involved with the Winnipeg Indigenous Filmmakers Collective since its inception and has experienced and seen how the group has helped Indigenous filmmakers thrive. Well, for me personally, I really wouldn't have been able to get into the film industry, I feel like, if I didn't have that safe space that the collective provided. It was through the collective that I was able to create an amazing network that was able to support me and I was also able to support my friends in making our films. Um, and I've been able to see the collective members like in our work, our art grow over the past decade. Innovation and inspiration remain front and center at the Gimli International Film Festival. With you Multicultural, I'm Ryan Funk.